Greetings, this is Campaigning for the Culture. You know, we're, you with we're slow right now. And uh, I endeavor to uh, speak on uh, police brutality a little bit today. And I, and I have a question for police. And I would like, uh, you know, if there's any police who watches uh, my channels, if there's uh, any uh, people in, inside uh, uh, government or political realms who watches my channels, to give me certain understandings. Because I, I've, I've noticed uh, with uh, conversations with police officers and uh, certain uh, political figures, you know, young and old, that uh, it's kind of uh, a, 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 a secret society and and I'm not speaking uh in the in the realm of you know it's uh conspiracy and, and whatnot and so forth but yet so as uh far as uh, a military based strategy and I just want to uh be able to understand why is uh our police um not allowed or feel that they are not allowed or shit tent uh, be able to uh, communicate effectively with, uh, uh, you know, their community, their neighbors in regards to letting us know why certain things happen. You know, I understand that the police force, the black and blue, you know, is a a, a form of our brotherhood, you know, amongst themselves. It's, it's a, a community within inside of a community. But I always uh, felt or thought uh, but from my understanding, as far as, uh, you know, military is concerned, that when you are trying to understand and uh, uh, coexist in a, um, a community that uh, doesn't necessarily need you or doesn't necessarily want you in their uh, community, that uh, you have a certain responsibility to properly communicate effectively with the citizens and civilians who live in these neighborhoods. And I do not see that. I do not see that happening. And I personally believe that uh, is why we have a lot of police violence against uh, people, you know, especially minority people, because they uh, are not endeavoring to understand, and I'm not saying that all police do not endeavor to uh, communicate with uh, the citizens inside uh, said communities, but uh, as a whole, the police force does not communicate with uh, civilians and citizens inside communities. And there's a, a communication gap. There's a lack of uh, informative communication within these neighborhoods and we and what happens is we do not understand each other and it creates a fearful mechanism the 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 people inside the communities are fearful of the black and blue and the black and blue are fearful of the people inside of the community and it becomes a situation of uh can i make it home tonight this is a dangerous job. Will I be able to see my family tonight? And it doesn't have to be like that if we have pro proper communication. And uh, I'm sure some people will say, well, the, the neighborhood doesn't communicate with us. No, no, no. Let's stop right there uh, and uh, educate ourselves. The community, first of all, uh, uh, primarily speaking in poverty stricken communities uh, doesn't feel the need to communicate with you because they don't feel like they need you which is the black and blue unless there is a dire emergency nine times out of ten I can guarantee if 911 is being placed and called there is a female who is calling 911 now I'm not saying that she doesn't have a legitimate case I'm not saying that her case and claim for calling the uh, emergency hotline is legitimate what I am saying to you is that uh, you are only being called in case 
of uh, uh, as a provider or protector, but it's a temporary use. You're not a uh, primary solution. You, uh, uh, you're a lot of times the black and blue is being called to uh, apprehend uh, uh, and, and 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 provide a, a temporary solution to a long-term problem. And 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 I would endeavor to say that the police are being misused. So I can understand in certain situations uh, when when you know uh, things escalate and uh, become uh, violent. You understand because uh, we as citizens uh, need to endeavor to uh, intellectualize and educate ourselves to that. The black and blue just want to go home. At the end of the day, they come to do a job and they just want to go home. Some of them are just there to collect a paycheck. However, being in the position of supervision and as a protector and provider for a temporary solution, and sometimes uh, as the government wants to see it, a long-term solution, being an overseer and a watcher over the community, you have a responsibility when being placed in a hero position, being placed as Superman and Superwoman, you have a responsibility to communicate effectively to the community, to the citizens and civilians inside the community, to the neighbors inside the neighborhood. You have a responsibility to do whatever it is that you can do to communicate effectively. And I think that if someone, you know, police, police chief, whoever, so forth and so on, I don't, uh, uh, I need to educate myself as far as your, you all's ranks go. Someone needs to start the campaign uh, to uh, endeavor to figure out how to create a program that uh, teaches police officers how to properly communicate with the civilians and citizens inside the communities that they currently and will continue to serve so that we can have proper situations and proper actions that are according to the situations, we need to have more effective procedures and protocols. You understand? This has been another edition of Slow Money's Campaigning for the Culture. Slow money, slow for president. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, today's Tuesday. I will see you all again Thursday. We're on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday campaigning for the culture. And I'm not saying that I will be the next president in future uh, proceedings you know, as they present themselves. I will endeavor to try, however. But what I uh, primarily wish to accomplish is to uh, help create young minds and minority and poverty-stricken communities to wish to uh, understand edu ed and educate themselves politically so that we can have more political persons who serve the poverty-stricken communities and the low-income communities and the minority because we need a voice at the end of the day. Vote for slow.